Hello everyone. Peace, shalom, salam, aloha, namaste. It's Mr. Jonathan from FCC Chappaqua. This week, Reverend Martha shared with me a beautiful story and I thought I'd share it with you all too. It's a special kind of story called a parable. Parables are short, simple stories made up to teach a lesson or a moral, usually about how to be happy or how to be a good person or how the world works. This particular parable is popular all over the world and in many different cultures. It's called the story of the long spoons. Here's how one author tells the story. One day a man said to God, God, I would like to know what heaven and hell are like. God shows the man two doors. Inside the first one in the middle of the room was a large round table with a large pot of vegetable stew. It smelled delicious and made the man's mouth water. But the people sitting around the table were thin and sickly. They appeared to be famished. They were holding spoons with very long handles and each found it possible to reach into the pot of stew and take a spoonful. But because the handle was longer than their arms, they could not get the spoons back into their mouths. The man shuddered at the sight of their misery and suffering. God said, you have seen hell. Behind the second door, the room appeared exactly the same. There was a large round table with the large round pot of wonderful vegetable stew that made the man's mouth water. The people had the same long handled spoons, but they were well nourished and plump, laughing and talking. The man said, I don't understand. God smiled. It is simple, he said. Love only requires one skill. These people learned early on to share and feed one another, while the greedy only think of themselves. See, the people in heaven couldn't feed themselves with the long-handled spoons any better than the people in hell, but the people in heaven realized they could feed each other with their spoons. And feeding each other led to friendships and conversation and laughter. Working together, everyone stayed healthy and happy. Now, like I said, parables are short and simple stories meant to teach a lesson. We need a lot more detail to know why the people couldn't just move their hands to the, up the handle of the spoon or stick their faces in the pot. I suppose the table was really big. But you need to go with the idea of the story and fill in those details yourself. Maybe everyone is belted to a chair with one hand tied behind their back, or maybe it's so crowded it's hard to move. In one version of the story I heard, nobody has elbows. You can make up your own reason for this. But what's important is the point of the story, the lesson that the story teaches. And it is this, if we want to live in heaven, we need each other. That's it. Our minds and our bodies aren't meant to survive alone. We actually feel pain, real pain, when we focus on ourselves and ignore others. And we feel good when we think of others and help them out. There's no mystery about it. That's just how our brains work. Eat yummy chocolate, you feel good. Eat a rotten apple, you feel sick. Simple. Help out a friend, you feel good. Act mean to a friend, you feel bad. It's simple. So why are these simple ideas so easy to forget? Well, as we all know, when our own needs aren't met, like when we are hungry or thirsty or lonely or in pain or scared, we can get cranky and confused <laughs> and start to only worry about ourselves. And then there are other times when we are so comfortable and happy that we forget what it feels like to be hurting. But comfort and happiness don't last forever. We all have times in our lives when we need help, just like everyone else. We have to stop and remember in those moments that when we help others, we feel good. 
And when we help others, others will help us. We cannot sit back while others are hungry or homeless or lonely or hurt by other unhappy people and think that we will be happy ourselves. That's simply not how human beings work. That's not how animals and plants and stars and planets and galaxies work. We must reach out with our spoons. It's the answer to everyone's problems, including our own. Let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for this great, big, wonderful world and everyone, everyone in it. Thank you for the love among us and all that love gives us. When we are in need, give us the courage to ask for help. When we see others in need, give us the courage to help them. We know now that by doing so, we strengthen the whole world and prove to ourselves that we are strong, kind, and never alone. Amen. So I do have a song for you this week. It's called, If You Can't Help Yourself. Um, it's pretty simple. Only one word changes verse by verse. So I think by the end of the song, you'll get it. Here we go. If you can't help yourself, if you can't help yourself, reach out, reach out, and help somebody else. Good things come to you. Good things come to you. If you do such things, then heaven's wings will come to you. If you can't feed yourself, if you can't feed yourself, reach out, reach out, and feed somebody else. Good things come to you. Good things come to you. If you do such things, then heaven's wings will come to you. If you can't love yourself, if you can't love yourself, reach out, reach out, and love somebody else. Good things come to you. Good things come to you. If you do such things, then heaven's wings will come to you. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for listening. I love you all very much. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.